They've been building up for all these weeks. This is the moment the rider has been working. Does he'll be counted because Smith is a kind of it. At the... This is um, first because Leon had just a little spell there. Well, that was shots. British champions. Box for world title. Ryden. He landed in the first round. Having a decent start here, John Ryder. Nothing much clear. Well, Smith, the, the danger, the fear he ha you'd have for him, not the danger he had. It bites a little bit of that. He's against Nicky Holsky. And if you allow Ryder is so short. 13 Callum. And a reluctance from the jab. Ryder just needs to do any work himself on the inside, but Ryder knows that when he's. Joe Gallagher, the one piece of it being the riders wide open. He's got to chop up a rider, tee up that centre. Oh, i having a look at this. Comfortable with that jab, because he's almost throwing himself out of bounds. Jab, jab. Onto the back of it from Ryder, but that was a stiff right to the body. That's a decent bit of work on the inside from Ryder as well. Looking for the uppercut up the centre, Smith. It's most dangerous when he's back to the road. It's such a privilege, you don't get it in other sports. Through three rounds, the second one was very tight. Good start for the round from Isim Setum. When you're up close, look for those little shots off the middle. And he gets the opportunity, he really gets it. stays on it. Wolf Smith is to the body. Look at the leg of John Murray. look what he's got. Under the ribs. Between the two. Right on cue, that's exactly. This has turned out to be a slightly harder fight than expected for side. You've looked sensational in your last few. This is a guy who you don't really want to box. Step up when you. Well, he's compact rounds. It's hard to comfortable in there right there at the moment. Have him right about a good auto to the body, Smith. In his own space to touch. Double. And that's decent again. In around the back of the gloves. And it didn't really land. That was the chance for the right. Ryder's height and the insecurity that's great. Eight onto the shoulder. Kind of distance. Smith just doesn't really have any. Just sailed past the chin there of Ryder and Smith just leading up for the left uppercut. And his compact style, he took two there. Two good shots from Smith. It's an interesting fight to watch this. to be when he's backed him up to the rod maybe one or two punches position catch rider clean but again there and following it rider managed to with those uppercuts those lead up to them about that and good right hand there from smith took right hand from side down there and the right hand touching at rider's head to get his distance five and rider there just trying to get wet Change in the fight in this round behind his jab. There it was a left hook was set up there. Either him and Ryder just trying to take that away from him now, getting onto the inside again. Happy to hook his glass to his left, just found a bit. At this range, this is where he's effective. Horned out there, giving him the Ryder trying side, looking for the uppercut. Smith finds half a yard there. Riders working very good. Combination got through there. And this is good stuff from him. And Smith has got neck almost of Smith's neck. And Smith should use the other foot instead of the hook because the other foot have now. To turn the screw himself for it looked like he was. He could feel that. Smith's getting caught in between two minds of him. Or actually go back to his. What his honey punches the way he sits on the ropes, catches your shot and me still firmly in control. How tricky is it boxing you? Did you ever do it in your career? A lot, and especially when they're not strong. Yeah, I've done it myself. I think we oh. So Paul Smith there, I think, over of Callum Smith at the moment. There have been close rounds we've been his work and he has been effective and he's being effective again. Smith, he was just given a slight bit of room to work in. He do anything. Just nullified by that. Oh, okay, 
screaming at the same time, and Smith just recoiled the mesh damage. And Smith, I wasn't delivered from John Ryder, but he won't. Good. Paul Ryder coming onto it, and I think he's a little bit shook, Ryder. Just over a minute, it is where Ryder has done his best work, just pulling Smith back to the ropes. He's all sinking into the ropes, and once he's on him again. Warming up now, really well. Not giving Smith any. Riding out of range. Good stiff left hand there for Ryder. Let's have a look at the head clash. So he steps to the side to throw that left hand. You see this a lot with southpaws against orthodoxes. Seen on the eyebrow there of Ryder. So into the ninth, four to three. And money scoring around, you know, not by what I see here. Pockets in every. He stopped planned that much. He's made it very difficult for Callum Ames to find a competitor. The fight, you know? Slipped over his. Right there from Smith, and they both look fairly from there. And he's trying to busy up those hands. He landed a couple of decent, solid shots. Smith tried to end side. And this is good from Smith. I know it's choose your jab. Predictable, and when he gets him close, just tight. Turn out of the corner and get that left flinch. You're up, it's, it's that kind of a fight, but as we've been to look at to set, we thought he would, that he's done some good work with the right hand to the ball, close the gap and work up close, just like he is been trying to and it's not working so just where he's really property rider and he's drawing the glove on the front foot here nice right hand to the body there from smith but rider just leaning onto the shot sneaky left hand from rider just on the eyelid almost there of Callum smith a couple of them and they've done a convenient place and joe gallagher's this place for him to be Nice little overhand pound thrown as he was. Well, the first half of this round has been John Ryder 20 to 1 on when we saw this, the odds of the stage. And again, just takes it with the right hand. But again, Ryder just sprint. Good left hand from what you see. Contact with either one of them, the Liverpool crowd just pushed apart by the referee, but Ryder comes rolling forward again. This is looking a little bit shaky. Beautiful, right beautiful right hand right 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 And if he can finish well, then who knows? This is right in the summer, just to break that momentum. We see a rider, when he throws that right hook, he always dips after it, and then kind of with the top of his head, and it makes it look like a much more effective pump. Look, you see the little dip, and the little dip after. Yeah, from Joe Gallagher, and, and you were saying a couple of the 11th that John Ryder had to really do him now, at the stuck here in the last couple. They've got to find John Ryder. Callum's He's not allowing Ryder to come in or gain any momentum. But who won? Who can keep that cool? Good short, straight right hand there from Rocket, no problem at all. And again, trying to put those punches together, grueling. And Ryder has brought it from the beginning, and he's putting it. The dreams are about. This is what, in many ways here, whatever has happened with Blaine Callum Smith here, under the right hand, and trying to let his own right go. And then... Ryder just closing that gap as he has done all night long and finding. As you were saying, Smith just couldn't get, just couldn't, he can sink into them, but he can't really get away. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. The fighting pride of Liverpool still.